You can't kick me out. I am telling you kindly to leave the water park. Your constant yelling and foul language are unacceptable. Go fuck yourself bitch, I want the manager. Very well. I'll get her for you. One moment please. Hello. I'm the manager. And I want you out of my water park. Ha ha what a funny joke. Now you get me the real manager. The name tag on my blue blazer says otherwise. Now grab your things and leave. I'll be back for you bitch. You haven't seen the last of me. That's what they all say. Are you certain about this Julie? Yeah, we saw him doing it. Didn't we Kayla? Yeah, just before work while me and Julie were getting changed into our lifeguard uniforms. I thought he was a good guy, but it seems this whole time, he had even me fooled. That's what I've been saying for the longest time since I really got to know him. You can trust him at first, then it's like a light switch goes off, and he's a completely different person. I better let Jenny know straight away. Let me know straight away about what? Perfect timing. Jenny, I need a word with you please. There is a serious matter that must be addressed. Alright Samir. But make it quick. I got held up and I need to get you all out there to your designated posts. And where's Nelson? He was supposed to be here with the rest of you. I want him to be training with Anthony today. That's the matter that has to be addressed Jenny. Nelson. Julie and Kayla saw him vaping in the locker room. What? No. I'm sorry Jenny, but it's the honest truth. Julie and I were getting changed, when we saw Nelson with the vape cartridge in his hand, and then using it before blowing vape smoke out of his mouth. Nelson. My own nephew. Doing that at the very job that I offered to him. No, I don't want to believe it. He's never vet before. There's always a first time for everything Jenny. Me and Kayla know what we saw. We wouldn't be lying to you about Nelson, your own nephew, vaping in the locker room if we didn't see it for ourselves. Nelson is a good kid. Maybe if I try talking to him. Jenny. You know that it's grounds for termination if you are caught vaping at the Tyndale Tide while on the job. Those are the rules. Remember Tyndale Lodge's golden rule. You break rules, you pay price. Nelson may be your nephew, but it's never a good idea to set a bad example. Anthony. Small change of plans. Since Nelson isn't here, Samir will be training you today. That's fine with me Jenny. Kayla and Julie, you two will switch between each other's designated posts in between breaks. Okay team, to your posts. I have other matters to attend to. I'm going to be shocked if Jenny doesn't terminate Nelson for vaping. Same, I'd react in the same way. But Somir was right. As the Tyndale Tide manager, Jenny shouldn't set a bad example. She must put her work responsibilities first. Well, 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 look who's finally here. I'm so sorry, I'm late Aunt Jenny. Listen kiddo. I gave you this job last summer, and as my nephew, I've given you the benefit of the doubt, several times. Being late for your shift is one thing. But it's another thing, if you're breaking the rules of one of Tyndale Tight's most serious work policies. I'm not following Aunt Jenny. I'm not breaking any rules. I have to be sure. 
Let me smell your breath. Why would you want to smell my breath? Because I asked you nicely. And I have duties to perform as Hindale Tide Manager. Unless you want to fess up to your Aunt Jenny and tell me the honest truth if you're hiding something. You get this one chance to confess. Did someone say something about me? It better not have been Julie because if it was. Do not change the subject now son. I want honest words to come from you. If you want honesty, then I can't lie to my own aunt. If you smell my breath, you're going to smell vape smoke. I'm really sorry Aunt Jenny, but if you would please give me a chance to explain. Get changed and meet me in my office. And that is all I have to say to you right now. I am highly disappointed. Hey Heather, I'm here to take over for you. Jace Hubbard you are a lifesaver. I thought I'd never get on break with how busy it's been today. California temperatures always pack a pretty serious punch. Yeah, but that is part of the California lifestyle for you. I agree. Now if only the lifestyle didn't have temperatures that are more crazy ass hot than normal, because good grief, in this month alone I've never seen California weather like this. Tell Jessica and Julie that I said hi. You know me, I always do. Surprise. <laughs> Good grief Jess, you scared me. I mean yeah that was kind of the whole point. Woman, what am I going to do with you? But I do love this little surprise of yours. Have you come to the Tyndale time to cool off like everyone else? I for sure thought the pool at home would be more than enough to beat the heat. Well, the pool at home was enough for me to beat this heat, and then I had the idea of wanting to come here and surprise you. But I mainly came here because I thought of something that we should try and have take place during the wedding. What is it? It's best I whisper it in your ear. I don't want anyone else listening in. What do you think? I think you have come up with a great idea in mind hun. I'll go and ask her after she gets done with her shift. And I think it's important that Jace gets back to work. Sorry Samir, I didn't realize you were standing right there. It's alright, but be more careful next time. You're lucky it was me who saw this, and not Jenny. Then I should pay for my water park admission, and have some fun. Alright love. Just don't plan on spending your whole time here at the snack bar. You are such a dork. I love you. I love you too. Eight o'clock. Right on the dot. Hey, Jess. Don't take off just yet. Dang it, Jace. I was hoping not to have any more gift shop customers today. As much as I want to do gift shop shopping, I'm actually here to talk to you about something. I promise that I won't take up too much of your time. Keep your word to that. Me, Julie, and Heather are all eager to get out of here. So I've heard from Heather. She said Julie was in an extra good mood while you girls were on break together. Said it had something to do with Nelson. Yeah. Nelson got fired for breaking the Tyndale Tides vaping policy. Jules was so happy that she won't have to work around him anymore, that she said she wanted to celebrate. Then I'll make this quick. Jessica K came by today to surprise me. Ah, that was sweet of her. Sure was. She also came by because she had an idea in mind for our big day. An idea? Yeah. She thought it would be wholesome and sweet, if somebody sung a special song during the wedding. Why do I have the feeling I know where this might be going? Where do you think this is going? 
You're about to ask me if I would have the honor of singing this special song at you and Jessica K's wedding. Jessica Andrews, you are too smart. You figured it out easily. What do you say? You interested? No matter what you think now, I'm so happy that I found out you were nothing but a I'll tell you what. It's sweet that you came to me with such an offer. At the same time I don't think I can decide with an answer for you right now. Why don't you give me some time to think about it? That's not a problem. Take all of the time you need. Thank you Jace. I appreciate it. Anyway, I have to go and meet up with Julie and Heather. See you tomorrow. You too. Have a good rest of your evening. You too.